Hello everyone and today I'm going to be doing an activity to prove that opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. So let's go. First, you're going to be needing two A4 size sheets. Now that you have two of your A4 size sheets, take one of your A4 size sheets and draw a parallelogram on it. And, and then after you draw the parallelogram, cut it out. If you don't know how to draw a parallelogram, here's a little picture on how to draw a parallelogram. Now I have drawn my parallelogram. For drawing my paragraph, I use a scale and a pencil. Make sure that the paragraph is big in size because later on we're going to be cutting it out. Now we're going to be cutting this paragraph out and tracing the, this paragraph on this sheet of paper. So let's cut this paragraph out. Make sure you're cutting a paragraph out neatly because you don't want your paragraph to be uneven. Now I'm done with my first paragraph. So now I'm going to be tracing the first paragraph onto the second sheet of paper. I'm going to be taking a pencil and tracing around the perimeter of the first paragraph like so. Now that I'm done tracing, I'm going to be cutting out my second paragraph. So now I'm done with my second parallelogram. Now I'll be having two sets of parallelograms. Now let's move on to the next step. So now one of the most, most, most important things when you're drawing any quadrilaterals, any specific quadrilaterals, one of the most important things is to name the quadrilateral or any figure. So now we're going to be naming the figures. So in the activity, it said that we had to name the first parallelogram. A, B, C, D and the second paragraph A dash, B dash, C dash and D dash. So we're going to be doing it respectively. So 
for giving it a much finer and neater look i'm going to be using a permanent uh, or we can also call it a cd marker so now let's name all the sides a b c and d Here is the first parallelogram now. Now we're going to be moving on to the second parallelogram. Now this parallelogram is supposed to be named as A dash, B dash, C dash, and D dash. So first A dash, second B dash, third C dash. and fourth d dash here is our second parallelogram now so now the next step in the activity is to draw diagonals now i'm going to be using uh you can be uh, use a pencil and a scale but uh, later on in the video i'm going to be uh, using a cd marker also now here you can see i'll be using a cd marker to draw the diagonals i have already drawn the first diagonal and now let's draw the second diagonal Now we are done with our first parallelogram. Now we're going to be moving on to the second one. And again, one of the most important things is to name the midpoint. So over here, I'm going to name the midpoint O dash. And now we are complete with our first parallelogram. Now we're going to be moving on to our second parallelogram, which is the A, B, C, and D. Now for this one also, we're going to be drawing diagonals from both the sides. We are done with the first diagonal. Now let's draw the second one. Now we are done with our second paragraph also. and over here too we're going to be naming naming the midpoint o so now the next step of the activity will be that we're going to be taking a sharp pen or you can also call it a needle and we're going to be poking it through the center point which is going to be o and o dash make sure there's adult supervision for kids make sure the two diagrams are are in are aligned like so so now we're going to be taking the needle or the pen and pushing it through both of the sheets of paper
so I have pushed the pen and as you can see the pen has come out at the end of two, two sheets of paper and this is the final alignment make sure that your pen is pushed completely down and the end of the needle is coming out at the end of the sheets so now I want to talk a little bit about the experiment so now you can see that A is aligning with A dash B is aligning with B dash C is aligning with C dash and D is aligning with D dash now now the aim of the experiment was to prove that the opposite sides are equal now if I move the first parallelogram to uh, 180 degrees say, if I move the first paragraph to 180 degree there will be slightly change the change will be that the A will now be on a C dash now and the C will be on A dash the B will be on B dash and D will be on B dash so this proves that the opposite angles you can see how aligned the figure is still and this proves that the opposite angles are equal. Thank you so much everyone.